friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on December 15th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours as that large plasma filament did lift away. Bottom right hand corner, you'll see that duly noted yesterday was about to let loose and sure enough it did focusing in here on that large plasma filament stretching across quarter part of our sun that thing was huge and it did produce a very large corona mass ejection having a look at 304 angstroms this is showing the last three hours of imagery notable m-class solar flare top right hand region you'll see a small flash Other than that, it's been in the sea flare range. Multiple. Seeing another light here, we can see the coronal hole, Earth facing right now. And we already do have Earth facing coronal, uh, sorry, solar winds that have increased. And here's a look at that most recent large M class solar flare. Amazing images here brought to you by Gong and NSO. SDO is still down and most likely will be until the new year as they are trying to put everything back together. And you can see here, top right-hand region, moderate M-class solar flare, Earth-facing, and right now we have five Earth-facing sunspots, 3924 looking primed. Space weather conditions, currently we are under R1, a minor radio blackout impacts expected. As well, our solar winds are punching us at 423 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, a moderate M-class solar flare just recently. Long duration C-class solar flare right after that. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a 3.5 last night and throughout the day today. This is our most recent solar storm headed our way and expected arrival late 16th into the 17th of December. Iswa, most recent, still another outgoing CME. I'm not sure if this was the one that was associated with the plasma filament that ejected from the sun, but it is visible here. Alaska 3, wide spectrum, showing the last two days of imagery. Brought to you by Soho. Thank you so much for watching right now. Amazing images here. Brought to you by Daily Events Worldwide. Big coronal mass ejection. Taking off in a southward fashion. So not earth directed. But we may get a glancing blow. Going to still wait for the updated CME models. From these most recent CME events. Give a thumbs up if you're enjoying all these images and information shared. Much love and thank you for all the love and support. Carrying on here with the Aurora forecast for tonight and into tomorrow. Definitely a viewing tomorrow. Clear skies as well. Strong meteor shower that we're going through over the past couple days. So look up everybody. Now let's get to earthquakes as we still are going through this uh, Uptick in seismicity around the world. Petrolia, California, seeing a 5.3 magnitude earthquake today. Boy, oh boy, watch out Juan de Fuca Plate and all through this region. Especially with all the most recent activity in Nevada. Increased seismicity through Alaska. And just recently off the coast of Kamchatka. Even a 4.5 earthquake here north of Svalbard towards the North Pole. Very peculiar earthquakes around the world right now. Continual activity, Puerto Rico and west into the Dominican Republic. Pretty deep earthquake here in Chile. After seeing a 6.3 south there yesterday. As well, notable 5.1 earthquake here. The British, or British Islands. 5.1 earthquake, Somali Plate, 4.3, up into China, India. And then look at this, the West Ring of Fire, 
Still, lots of activity, continual activity. Multiple volcanoes erupting around the world. And here's our largest earthquake the past 24 hours. 5.9 in the Tonga region. And our deepest earthquake being 545 kilometer depth reported yesterday. But heads up, earthquakes all the way down into New Zealand. And as well, Macquarie Islands, south of the Australian Plate. Kermadec Trench is about to slip. Heads up, everybody. Especially coming into summer months for them. Things are going to be warming up and softening up. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for earthquakes around the world. Brought to you by Earthquake 3D and daily events worldwide. Showing all the shakers and movers the past seven days. Largest earthquake was the 7.3 magnitude earthquake in California uh, last week. Right at the beginning of the earthquake warning week. Heads up. All through Indonesia and the Philippines. And eastward up into the Juan de Fuca. And the Kermadec Trench. Basically the whole ring of fire. Much love everybody. You live in an earthquake prone zone. Just be ready. Having a look here at the SO2 forecast for the next three days. Big eruptions, Mexico, Hawaii, and as well, Vanuatu, and Russia. Big blooms coming out of Central Africa, China, Java, and as well, Reunion, Mauritius, east of Madagascar. And of course, Mount Etna through Italy. And notable eruptions through Colombia and Peru. Active and erupting 69 volcanoes around the world. If you haven't seen the most recent vol volcano activity report, please check it out. A new one will be coming soon. Having a look at world weather here for the next few days. Pointing out the major systems that will be affecting the world. Up, right up until about Christmas forecast here for the next eight days multiple systems pounding the west coast all week long and as well snowy systems all through the canadian prairies huge low pressure systems in the north pacific and they just keep swirling around and eventually a little low will sneak over and head over the rockies multiple alberta clippers this week Overlooking Europe and Africa. Strong lows affecting Ireland and the United Kingdom this week. Three days of multiple storms. And then about four or five days of a low pressure system grinding through the Mediterranean. Heads up. Parts of Iraq and Turkey in the long range are going to see a lot of rain. Overlooking Australia and the Pacific Ocean. Multiple possible cyclones here converging and multiple lows in the north converging and merging. These systems are too big. And look at the velocity of these things. Near hurricane force winds with these low pressure systems that are heading through the North Pacific. No major typhoons or cyclones here forecast, but a lot of rain and a lot of windy events. For the West Coast, possible cyclone there developing in the long range for northeastern parts of Australia. Stay tuned and notified here. Subscribe to Daily Vins Worldwide. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss an update. Looking at forecast models here over the next seven days. Look at these systems racing through the North Pacific. All week long, Washington, Oregon. California, British Columbia, the whole coasts, multiple systems coming in all week long. And watch for this one in the long range, setting up to be a doozy for Washington, heading straight north up the coast. Now this is a look at our upper level winds on our planet, depicting our polar vortex for winter 2024 as it is completely set up right now. And we've got extreme cold temperatures that will be fueling around the planet 
It was minus 15 with the wind chills, minus 15 Celsius just the other night. Mild weather today got to about 2 degrees Celsius. But then back to the cold, and the snow came back as well. So this polar vortex has a grip on our planet, sending the northern hemisphere into winter. And watch for the extreme cold temperatures to start swinging around the planet. And multiple winter storms and blizzards expected for this winter. Still a week away. Thanks everybody for watching. Stay aware, prepared.